Hi guys and welcome to Provision Wrestling YouTube channel. I will continue playing in committed episode with Kofi Kingston against Dean Ambrose. At Sunday night's Extreme Rules pay-per-view, Dean Ambrose defeated Kofi Kingston with the headlock DDT to win the United States Championship, marking the wrestler's first WWE title victory. Hey, it was a perfectly fine undercard bout. Nothing too bad, but it wasn't a great either. It certainly couldn't compare to Ambrose's previous spouts this year, or Kingston's fantastic main event match May 1 with Antonio Cesaro. The two wrestlers may have also been hampered by a lack of time the match went slightly under 7 minutes in. Let's start out by saying, this result isn't really a surprise. Going in, it seemed obvious Ambrose would emerge victorious. As the standout member of the renegade group The Shield, his career has been on a roll over the past six months. It made perfect sense for him to win a respected, well, sort of secondary title as he continued his fast climb up the career ladder. Besides, jobbing him out to the career mid-Carter Kingston would have been a colossal failure. Like it or not, Kingston has been stuck in the same position for years and isn't going anywhere in WWE Ambrose's. The Shield member winning clean was the only logical result. For all its booking missteps recently, even WWE's booking team knew this. Will the two continue to feud as Kingston aims to get his belt back? Well, let's hope not. It remains to be seen how Ambrose, a rising star, can really be aided by a prolonged feud with the former champion. Let's face it, once you've fought The Undertaker on SmackDown and come out looking very credible, as Ambrose did on the April 26 SmackDown, feuding with Kingston is a major step down. Oh, it's not that Kingston is bad. Indeed, as the Cesaro match showed, he can be spectacular on occasion, but his bland, one-dimensional personality means that he is slotted in a certain place, and Ambrose should really be mingling with main eventers right now. Additionally, the United States title and its tarnished image can be helped by its association with the former Evolve star. When Cesaro, and later, Kingston carried it, it was usually treated as an afterthought and defended on main event. Well, Ambrose's career remains thankfully on track, and the United States title may very well be out to return to prominence at long last. Dean Ambrose got his first opportunity at a championship in WWE Tonight Sun, May 19, 2013 and against Kofi Kingston in a U.S. title bout on the Extreme Rules pay-per-view PPV at the Scott Trade Center in St. Louis, Missouri. Indeed, Ambrose came to the ring on his own with his shield brethren allowing him to do his own bidding without their aid. And that's what he did, working a short but fine match against Kingston that saw some solid psychology lead to a finish that is sure to make the hardcore fan base happy. Kingston hit the trouble in paradise but did so on the apron so Ambrose fell out of the ring. Instead of taking the countout victory, as color commentator JBL was saying he should, Kofi brought Ambrose back into the ring where he failed to get the three count. Hope you enjoyed this match and please don't forget to subscribe.